Welcome back everyone. This time we are talking about the open file dialog. Just like last time, I'm using a grid with two rows, a button so we can fire our dialog, and then a text block to display some information. But I made it a little bit wider this time because we're going to have some file paths. So I already have a click handler for my button. So if we go into that, what we're going to need to call is open file dialog. And we'll call that a file dialog. And unlike the message box class, the open file dialog class is not static. So we have to create an object and it lives in the Microsoft Win32 namespace. So we also need to include this using to be able to use this file dialog. To open our dialog, we need to call the object show dialog method. So if we run this and press fire, we get a file dialog where we can select a file and press open, cancel or close. The file dialog itself is modal, so you know that execution is going to stop until it is closed. And what show dialog returns is a nullable Boolean. So you don't actually get back in a return object the file you selected, but rather whether or not the OK button was pressed. So we could say nullable Boolean success equals our show dialog call. And then we could say if success equals true, then we know that we have some sort of result from our file dialog. Otherwise, they didn't pick anything. Quick note in case you're not familiar with nullables, since this Boolean is nullable, it can be three states, null, true, or false, which means you have to say equals equals true here. You can't just say if success. Once you know that you have a result, there are actually two ways that you can get the result. The first one being the path, and it's a little misleading because that's your file dialog dot file name. It's not just the file name, it's the full path with the file name. So if we set our TV info dot text equals to what we get back, we select this file here, we actually get the full path including the file name. If we only want the file name, we can do that through file dialog dot safe file name. So if we run this, pick the same file, now we get it with no path. Before we fire up our dialog, there are several configuration options we can pick, one of them being a filter. So if we don't want our user to pick all files, we can define what files show up for selection. And that format is description. So we could say maybe C sharp source files, followed by a vertical bar, and then followed by our filter. So our filter, you can use a star as a wildcard, meaning anything, and then we could say .cs. So any file name that ends in .cs will be in our filter. And you have to be very careful with your filter because I accidentally added a space here that wouldn't find anything because it would be .cs space. So now when we run, we'll see a filter box here with our description and our filter and it will only show us files that are anything.cs. So nothing else will show up unless it ends in .cs. Now the dialog is meant to open in the last folder you browsed to, but if you always want to open at the same folder, you can set the initial directory to some directory that you want, like ctemp. And if the directory doesn't exist, it will still just open at the last known folder. So that's another configuration you can set. You can also set the file dialog's title property. If you need to give your users a little more guidance, you could say, please pick a CS or file. And then the title bar will have your title in the dialog here. The last thing I want to mention is the ability to change your dialog to be multi-select. So you can say multi-select equals true. And then you would want to say, please select CS source files because what's going to happen is now in your dialog you can drag multiples and select multiples you can shift click you can control click and when you press open what's going to return is a collection so rather than getting back a path and a file name what we would get back is a string array of paths and file names from our file dialog dot file names and safe file names. So if I put a breakpoint here and restart, now pick multiples and push open, 
you can see we get all paths and all file names from our multi-select. Next up, we're going to use the folder browser dialog for when we want to select a directory instead of files. Thank you for watching, everybody. I really appreciate you. Feel free to ask any questions. Happy coding, and until next time, as always, take care.